Coming up on Cats and Cajun, Tony will show you how to catch, clean, and cook a Louisiana favorite, the redfish. So stay tuned for an exciting half hour with Cats and Cajun. Catch one, you gotta holler roll tide, and I'm gonna holler go tigers when I catch one. You wanna get over there and let him be? Woo! He's a good one. Woo! Might have to go around the back, follow him wherever he wants to go. Don't let him get on the motor. Go around the motor. Walk up there. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Coming on this side. Tell him to make up his mind. <laughs> Woo, he's a good one. I heard, I heard those Alabama fans have tender bellies. He's right here, Barry. He got a deer belly. Deer belly. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There he is, B. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Right. That's legal. Yeah. That's nice, huh? That's a pretty fish. Oh, yeah. Pretty fish right there. Look, B, I got this bullet grip right here if you want to. I got it ready for All right. Need supplies? No. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
That's what we come to Louisiana for right that's there. That's what we come to Louisiana for. Yes, sir, that's a pretty fish. Would you do me a favor and net him there? I'd be glad to, my friend. Tied up the score. Just, just wear it Alabama down, Alabama won, LSU won. Oh. oh, and look, he's gonna try to make my fish come off. <laughs> All right. do that to the Tigers. Thank you, Steve. All right, my friend. Pretty little fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, he's got one of his fins missing. Something chewed one of his fins off. Oh. One of his pectoral. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a pretty fish. Put him in the box. I'd say he's legal. Oh, yeah, he is. Now, John Este, expert fish cleaner, is going to show us how to clean the redfish his way. Look a lot easier than when I do it. <laughs> and now you were telling me about on the rib cage that there's one bone you gotta watch out for, John. Yeah. Coming down, it's about right in the middle. You just gotta feel around it. He makes it look easy. It's Dexter Russell's. It's a commercial, well, commercial place you see using the Dexter's. And this is the curved blade? Yeah, I prefer the curved blade. Okay. A lot of people like the straight blade, but I prefer the curved blade. That's what I was learning to do. Okay. And, uh, and it's a bread knife, Dexter Russell bread knife you use, serrated. Right. It's serrated edge, 12 inch blade. Uh, blade. Well, if you happen to be in the Homa area and you don't want to clean your fish, bring them over here to John, JNC Enterprises, get them clean and vacuum packed. In fact, I'm going to show you some tuna and amberjack that he just finished. Now he's cutting the bloodline out. And I guarantee if John cleans your fish, there'll be no wasted meat. I played fish all my life. I was born and raised in the seafood market. Before I only had SJ Seafood, which I closed a few years ago. Which when we closed it was 101 years old. Man, you don't look a day over 90. You should have seen me yesterday. <laughs> all right, it. let's go take a look at how the fish look when the folks pick them up. This is an amberjack and tuna that I cleaned this morning and just finished packing. And so that you don't forget what you have in your freezer. It's all labeled, ready to go in the freezer. You can also get your bait and tackle here. John makes uh, double rigs with jig heads, Carolina rigs. He's got just about everything you need. So come see him. How's it going? Uh, my name is Derek Smith. I'm the executive chef here at uh, Grady V's American Bistro. Uh, we're going to plan on preparing some, uh, some redfish to uh, preparation methods. I plan on doing a pecan crusted uh, with a smoked uh, andouille sauce and a, a pan seared redfish going with a corn and crab relish. I'm just going to start working with it here. Get it all filleted out. Get it all looking nice and pretty. Get the cuts that I'm looking for. I want the tail in this way. Start off with a little salt and pepper. Get it seasoned up real good. You don't want to be too heavy with your salt and pepper on your fish. You don't want to over season it. Get into your seasoned flour. Lightly dredge it. You want to get rid of your excess. This is buttermilk. A little bit of scrambled egg. Salt and pepper. Going straight into the uh, crushed pecans. I'm going to get a good coating on there. There you 
go. We'll salt and pepper with these two guys. Are we bringing these on the hot side and uh, preparing them up and you guys can check that out a little later. Get all my ingredients out ready to go. All right, first we're gonna go with our pan seared uh, redfish with the uh, corn and crab salsa. I'm gonna start off with some unsalted butter. You cast iron pot, get that going. Want to give your pan a chance to come up to temp. Kind of want it sizzling hot before the, uh, the fish touches the uh, cooking surface. Just to get a, a good sear on it, you want to want it kind of crisp on the outside. That way, the inside you're sealing those juices, and the, the fish remains tender. Uh, a lot of people slightly overcook a redfish, not realizing the uh, the delicacy of it, and it, it kind of dries it out a little bit. So you just want to avoid that. Okay. One more fish. Let that cook a little bit. We get a good, a nice light sear on both sides. This preparation method is a little bit more delicate. You, uh, you notice the the color on the fish is not it's not overly done. It's just a nice off white color. Uh, you want to go in with some uh, some white wine, just deglaze it a little bit, just a little bit of white wine in there. Give this guy some time. While that's going, we're gonna get started on our corn and uh, crab relish, the roasted corn. Dice tomato action going on here. That's the color. With your lump crab. Give that a little sauce. A little bit more butter to bring it together. Deglaze a little bit. We're gonna go with just a little bit of heavy cream just to tie it together. Down with your fish. There you go. Parsley in there, the color. A little bit more parsley. Just spoon that over the top. It's a pan-seared uh, redfish with a corn and crab uh, salsa. It's real light, not overpowering. You still get the flavor of the fish. Uh, the, going with more oil in, in, uh, in this preparation method just because of the, uh, the breading that's on the fish. Uh, you wanna get a good toast on those pecans. That way it brings out the nuttiness of the, uh, the pecans and it complements the, uh, the salsa we'll put together a little bit later for you guys. Going with our fish. You want the oil hot enough so the, the fish starts cooking like as soon as it touches uh, as soon as it touches your pan. Because those pecans, you overcook it, the pecans they'll burn up on you, and uh it the, the taste that it leaves is not too pleasing. Turn that over. You see what I mean? It's only, it's only been in there about 30 seconds and you see the color that I got going on here. With this particular application, uh, you're going to start it off on the stove, but it needs to be finished in the oven. I'm going to go into the oven about Maybe about a good five, ten minutes. But that's over. We get our sauce going. On well, this one, the sauce is going to consist of, uh, of some smoked, uh, some smoked tasso, uh, some diced onions, and uh, red pepper. A little green onion for color. 
our white wine, our heavy cream, bring it together. Going with your andouille sausage. A little yellow onion, red pepper mixture we got going on here. Want to lightly saute it just until the onions and your, your bell peppers will start to get a little translucent. A little deglazing with your white wine. Going with your aromatics. A little bit of heavy cream. That's maybe a quarter cup of heavy cream I got in there. You want to reduce it down by like one third, just to it's like a, almost a soup-like consistency. Get that going. We're gonna work in our uh, unsalted butter. This is really gonna give your sauce the consistency that you're looking for. You're kind of getting the viscosity that, that you're looking for. It's starting to come together a little bit. We want that to burn. Pull that out. Finish them off for our sauce. I use the sauce sparingly just because I don't want to overpower the, the red fish because you get a real, real strong, strong flavor from the uh, smoked tasso. You just want, you don't want to kill the fish with it. You want the fish to come through. Garnish it with a little parsley. A little fresh lemon juice. There it is. Uh, it's a pecan crusted redfish with a smoked uh, andouille uh, sauce. There it is. Uh, again, my name is Derek Smith, the executive chef over here at uh, Grady Bee's American Bistro. And uh, what I made for you guys today is a pecan crusted redfish topped with a smoked andouille sauce. And I have a pan seared redfish going with a crab and, crab and corn uh, salsa. All right. So Tony, what I was saying is uh, thanks for coming out here today. Um, you know, you guys are out there catching fish all day long, but I think uh, it's going to be really interesting uh, to see some different ways to prepare redfish. You know, everybody's used to black and redfish, but there's so many other delicious ways to produce uh, fresh redfish for dinner. And, uh, you know, we're going to try a couple th uh, this afternoon for dinner. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Tastes as good as it looks. I tell you that you got the right preparation method. Any size redfish can make a make a good meal. You got Chef Derek <laughs> behind the wheel, right? That's it. So again, we got some pecan crusted redfish. Uh, it's got a andouille cream sauce on top of that, Tony. And it smells delicious. You know, most people are in a con uh, cross on the trout. That's a definitely uh, a little departure from that. And good plate of food. Really, that was an awesome experience. Delicious appetizer, delicious entree. I should have taken a picture of it before I ate it. It was so beautiful. And Tony, Great. thanks for coming here today. We're really happy here at Grady V's to show you a couple different ways to cook redfish. Uh, everybody's used to blackening it, and obviously we got two other good alternatives for some delicious fresh redfish. Uh, we're located here at the Bayou Country Club here in Thibodeau, and uh, thanks for coming by. And folks, if you're in the Thibodeau area, be sure to come by Grady V's and check out the delicious food. They have several entrees, some unique desserts and appetizers that you've never had before, 
And if you've never had a Grady V's hamburger, you've never had a hamburger. As always, I want to give a special thanks to our military, both our veterans and our active troops. We appreciate all you do for us. And remember, until next time, keep, keep on, on casting. casting.